Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Havana edition walls for the middle part of the, the home. It's easy, it's convenient, and it allows you a little bit of artistic expression to make your house look a little bit different than everyone else's. You're going to open the package and it will end up in your inventory. There is no RIS box, so you're going to have to place this manually. You're going to go into your inventory. You're going to find it. It's called the After Image Wall Edition uh, for the Havana Stilt Home. You're going. It's the, it's the full size of this room. You're going to place it in the middle of this room. It Because it is full size, it will probably not come in the way you intend it to. It's going to be a little bit off. You're going to go ahead and you're going to grab it with you. You're going to edit. You right click and edit and you're going to grab it and you're going to move it in here a little bit. We're going to get it in the right place more or less and then we will just fine tune it with our arrows. Okay. Set up and then we'll fine tune it. You'll know when this is properly set up when some cer certain guidelines are met. Those would be around the doors, the sides, the ceilings. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, let's check this. Okay. You can see one of the guidelines is right here at the top of the door. So you're going to have to move that up with your arrows. It's going to be your blue arrow. It's going to paint up straight up. The second thing you're going to be looking for is right up in here. Once this beam starts going up into the into the uh, ceiling, you're probably going to want to stop. Uh, and the second thing is checking across the bottom here. If you see a little lightness down there, you're going to have to bring it back down again. Now, as far as what, how, how far in this should be, this should be in far enough that it buries itself in the woodwork at the top and at the bottom. So you're going to want to use the green on this one, and you're going to want to take it down. Oh, okay, not that far down. Bring it back up. Okay, that looks good. Looks like it was about right. And then you want to make sure on this side that it is this small wall here also has a um, a panel on it for an accent. So you're going to want to bring that down. So that's pretty. That's pretty precise. One, one point on either side and it'll be buried in a wall. That ought to give you a pretty good idea about where this goes. Okay, I think it's good. All right, this is how it comes. Literally, it comes with the oak on the beams and the edges and the texture on this will be this blue. So that's how you place this piece. Once you get it like this, then we want to move on to coloring. As I told you before, 
this comes with the blue stripe on it and the oak color on the beams and on the sides. You'll notice that there are sides, there are stops on both of these sides and a little barrier up across here. It just gives it a finished look. Uh, it, it, it looked a little jarring without those. So just so uh, that's, that's the reason for those that being there. Now, this, these can change. There are 11 different textures on these walls. Let me, and the same textures are gonna be on the small accent wall as on the big ones. So you've got the blue flowers. And keep in mind the first time you riz, the, you riz this and you put these on, they will take a while to come in because they are not in your cache. However, once you've opened them once or twice and they are in your cache, they should come in pretty quickly. So that's a blue one. Then we've got the fronds, the palm fronds. Same thing over here. You've got palm fronds. It's another one. Again, they'll take a while to come in until they're in your cache and then they'll come in quickly. The reason why this wood is oak is because that was the that is the default on on uh, the houses. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is let me show you a couple more of these. Uh, they're just very different. They're very very different. See, that came in very, very quickly. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the wood textures on the beams and on the edges. I do not have texture switching in the beams and the, the, the sides of the wood because there's only three colors here and I just didn't see any sense in putting in that many scripts for three colors. This is how this is done, okay? It's gonna seem scary at first, but that's okay. So, oak is in it now. Let's say you don't want oak, let's say you your, your preference is walnut. You're gonna take the walnut, you're gonna drag it over here, actually, you're gonna drag it onto this little window and that will get it all that gets all of the pieces now you're like oh my god trinity you covered the walls well yes but keep in mind touch them again and they change back And that is a quick and dirty way to change the wood colors. You can do the same thing with the white. Keep in mind though, if you change the wood colors on this middle part, you've got to change them to match over here on the window, on, on the uh, controls. So you're gonna hit redecorate. You're gonna do your woodwork and these will be walnut and then it'll all match. Okay, now I've shown you how to do the walls. I've shown you how to do the woodwork. The next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to get the coloring on the walls and how to use this little accent wall here as a third color or second color. 
let's say we like this coat. Let's say we like this wall, this wall. We think this is a gorgeous wall. But I just really like the orange here in, in this wall. And I would like to have a little bit of orange. I just don't want a whole orange room. I would really like the most of these walls to be dark, but I do love that little bit of orange. How do I accomplish that? You go over here to this accent wall. You click on this, you give it a, you make it a white wall. And that will be the same texture that's on the rest of these walls. You're going to right click on it. You're going to go to select face. You're going to select just this wall face. You're going to go to your color picker and you're going to choose something perhaps a little bit like this. Maybe we could make that not quite so bright. Maybe we could make that not quite that dark though. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe that. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe that. Let's try that. Okay. Let's compare it. Looks good. I'd say that works. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to redecorate. We're going to go to our walls, click on our walls, and let's go ahead and give it that chocolate color. Or if you want, or even the beige color, or perhaps using a color of your own making. Okay. So here we have a completed room. Perhaps you don't like the colored wall. You'd prefer it to be the same as this textured wall over here. Well, let's go ahead and change it. Let's go back over here. Let's first take the color out by going into select face and taking this back to white. As you can see, there are several white areas. You can put that in, you can, or you can do that. You can, you can click on. Then we're gonna go here and we're going to choose the texture that we have on the big wall. And this is how we use the system. You do have to have some basic skill, uh, building skills like moving, like color picking, using the eyedropper. However, I think that I've taught you some of that in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.